Linda Sun and her husband Chris Hugh walked out of federal court on Tuesday, released on bail. A 40-year-old U.S. citizen, Sun pleaded not guilty to taking millions in payments and gifts from Chinese officials in exchange for influencing the highest levels of New York state government for years. Her husband pleading not guilty to money laundering. Governor Kathy Hochul's office says Sun was hired a decade ago and fired in March of last year amid allegations of misconduct. I'm furious and I'm outraged and absolutely shocked. The second we discovered some levels of misconduct, we fired her. We alerted the authorities. In a 65-page indictment, prosecutors alleged Sun blocked Taiwanese officials from having access to the governor's office, drafted unauthorized invitation letters to fraudulently get visas for Chinese officials, and changed messaging regarding issues of importance to China. Kickbacks went to her husband's businesses, prosecutors say, to fund a lavish lifestyle. Multi-million dollar homes in Long Island and Hawaii, cash and luxury cars, including a 2024 Ferrari Roma, like this one, that's priced over $260,000. The government says it will seize all of it, including more than $130,000 in a safety deposit box. The couple and their family also received expensive gifts, travel expenses paid, and tickets to shows, according to the indictment. And on multiple occasions, specialty salted ducks prepared by a Chinese official's personal chef. The DOJ calling Sun's actions a direct threat to national security. The way Americans think about national security is being corrupted by foreign adversaries who want to tell us how to think and how to act. And that is a national security threat. These charges are disappointing. Outside of court, Sun's attorney defending his client. We are looking forward to exercising our right to a speedy trial and addressing these uh, these uh, accusations in the forum where they're, it's most appropriate, which is a court of law. Linda Sun and her husband are out on bail, but there are restrictions. The couple's travel is heavily limited, and they aren't allowed any contact with the Chinese consulate. A spokesperson for former Governor Andrew Cuomo told NBC News Sun worked as a community liaison for his administration and had little to no interaction with the governor, guys. All right. Stephanie Goss. Steph, thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.